The retirement fund's board of trustees say the OPA was wrong and that there was no overpayment of retirement fund contributions. This is why they're not willing to give some $15 million to the general fund. However, Retirement Fund Board Chairman Joe T. Sinagasin so says they are willing to compromise by allowing GovGuam to pay less in contributions over the next two years. The compromise is that, is that, uh, that will provide the government some latitude or uh, at the same time would not severely harm the fund. Sinagasin says that because the retirement fund's investments are doing so good and even offering a better return on investments than they anticipated, they can afford to have GovGuam pay 2% less in retirement fund contributions. You're paying on by statutory 26%, of which around 21% of that is for paying the retirees, you know, annuities. Uh, and that's supposed to be, be coming in to pay for the retirement. I said, why don't we just sacrifice 26 by 2 and still protect the retirees, remember 21, and then we get up to 24, and you, 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 take, you keep that 2% of contribution less than what you, what you should be receiving by law, and you use that for your cash. Sanagazine we says that this that should, over the next two years, be... free up roughly $15 million for GovGuam. The board chairman stresses that this has nothing to do with an overpayment and everything to do with their retirement fund's good investments. We're very fortunate that the market was good. We have a good investment management group of people that are really looking at investing our, our funds all nation worldwide, and we're getting return on the market rate. We're taking it So let the, the, the advantage there, we will share the profitable rate of return and share it with the government bond.